What's up, and Merry Christmas everyone, JT here, and I'm just sort of making this little update video for you guys, just so I can wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. I am going to be putting this video up on uh, Christmas Eve. I want to give you guys a little heads up on my schedule for the rest of the week, and what I'm going to be doing in the immediate future. So, you will be getting a video tomorrow on Christmas. I recorded some... <laughs> I recorded a video of f 99 for you guys. And, um, yeah, they, they got a special, like, winter event going on. And, um, I had some other videos in mind for, like, a good Christmas video of games that are a little more fitting, I'd say. But, uh, neither of those games ended up working out. So, you're gonna get f 99 tomorrow. And, uh, look forward to that. It's, it's really neat. You should be seeing, um, some B-roll footage in this video of um, <laughs> kind of what the event is. But yeah, I'll, so I'll get more into that in tomorrow's video. So be on the lookout for that. I know you guys are probably going to be busy tomorrow. So, you know, no sweat if you're not able to watch the video tomorrow. But uh, yeah, it's just a really cool event that they're doing with F-099. And you know what I noticed it happening when I was recording this um, B-roll footage for this update video? I was like, oh man, I do have to make a Let's Play video of this. This is, this is neat. This is cool. <laughs> so I have to check it out and uh, show you guys and tell you guys about it. But yeah, um, other than that, there's it's going to be normal schedule of Final Fantasy VII Remake and Zelda Tears of the Kingdom for the rest of this week. How I'm planning it is um, Tuesday, you're going to get Final Fantasy VII Remake, then Zelda, and then Final Fantasy again on Friday, and then Saturday, the 30th, will be Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And on Saturday, December 30th, um, that Zelda Tears of the Kingdom video, that's going to be my last video for the year. I'm going to take off from uploading anything, both shorts and regular content, uh, the entirety of next week, uh, you know, December 31st through the uh, first full week of uh, January. So, yeah, that's sort of the, what's going to be going on. Um, there's not going to be any content from me really going up on the first week of January. I'm taking a little break because I kind of need it. I'm just beginning to really feel tired. So it's like, you know, I, I think I really... Should take a break, enjoy the new year, enjoy the holidays a little bit. I'm taking some time off from my real job too, so it's like I'll be able to really relax, unwind, you know, come back refreshed when, you know, my break is over. So yeah, I also want to take this time because, um, actually, I believe, as of the recording of this update video... I now have 421 subscribers on YouTube, and that that's honestly really cool. You know, I had like, what, about 300 last this time last year, maybe even a little less. So, you know, just the fact that more than 100 more people have subscribed is really cool. And, you know, it, it does really feel like that. I don't want to jinx myself, but it does really feel like that I'm beginning to sort of get my footing on content creation and it's just like i i've still got a lot to learn i know and i i had imagined that even in the future i'll still be learning because i always strive to learn but you know it just feels like i'm beginning to hit my stride and honestly i could not have done it without you i could not have done it without your support you know all all the likes and comments you guys have given me you know shouting me out on social media some of you are friends some of you are strangers but you know at the end of the day i i make this content well in a way i do make it for myself but i also make it for you you know the way i see it is i i play games that i enjoy or at least want to talk about whether they're good or bad old or new triple a or indie etc etc and, you know, I just hope that people like it and, you know, just seeing the growth on the channel, you know, it is showing me that, yeah, you guys are liking it. And, you know, even though I say I do this for myself, I am open to like, you know, suggestions and things like that. Suggestions, comments, criticisms, you know, as long as it's respectful and stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm open to it, man. Just, just sort of let me know. Let me know what you'd like to see. And, you know, I'll definitely take into consideration because really I could not have done all this without your guys' support and it really does mean a lot to me like like I'm not just bullshitting at the end of every video when it says it really means a lot to me and I appreciate your support because it really does mean a lot to me and I really do appreciate your support it's it's what's helped kept me going 
for all this time and you guys have made this little hobby of mine very very fun and i plan to keep on doing this into the future i definitely have plans for 2024 one of those plans being the reintroduction of resident evil 4 remake i know i kind of struggled with that game in october but really i only put it to the side because spooky games month was over but i really do want to continue that game because it's really a neat game and i'll let you guys know right now that um Actually, on my own time, I sort of played through that game again on standard difficulty because I was playing through on hardcore. The game recommended that I play on hardcore if I'd played the original Resident Evil 4 because I had. But uh, hardcore is, well, too hard for me. So I sort of played through on my own time on standard difficulty and got myself caught up to where I was at in hardcore. So yeah, when I do continue that series and I plan on doing it, you know, sometime early in the... Uh, coming year hopefully in january but we'll see we'll see how my schedule works but yeah i'll be playing on standard difficulty from that point on so i just want you guys to be aware that i'm not continuing on with hardcore because regular resident evil 4 well original i should say is well it's a difficult game it can be a difficult game and i play that on standard and uh, i'd imagine that you know the further we get into resident evil 4 remake that's going to be more difficult and of course, I'm going to continue Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and Final Fantasy VII Remake until I'm finished with those. And also, I plan on resuming my live streams of Persona 5 Royal, because that's one of my favorite games of all time. We got through, like, the fourth major palace in that game, so I want to continue on. We're literally, like, halfway through the game, and hopefully I can get it wrapped up, you know, with a couple more streams. I'll try to stream more regularly. I'll try not to have like a big gap where I'm not streaming because that sort of plagued me like my first few years of streaming. And even last year, there was like a big period of time where I just didn't stream on Saturdays anymore. Like I said before, I don't really put a big emphasis on streaming because just the way my schedule works, how my real life, <laughs> my real life works, it's just Saturdays at like 8, 8-ish in the evening is pretty much the only time I can stream it. I'm not even guaranteed that time because, you know, I generally keep my Saturdays open for whatever. And usually I'm not doing much on Saturdays. That's why I picked that for my streaming days. And that's also why I prefer Let's Play content over live streams because... With Let's Play content, I could just sort of record a bunch of content in one night, then edit it throughout the week. That's sort of my process. I'll pick a day, just record a bunch of one game, and then edit that, and then, you know, I'll record a bunch of another game, and just sort of, as you can probably tell from my schedule, generally speaking, I alternate between games. Like, I'll do maybe, like, one episode of Zelda one day, and then it'll be Final Fantasy the next, and then so on and so forth. That's, that's generally my my thing but i've also been recording i've been forcing myself to record like friday evenings too because i i generally have a lot of time on friday evenings so yeah that's you're probably going to be seeing maybe a little bit more one-offs or at least like some more irregular series like maybe more f-099 or overwatch 2 or maybe maybe play a little bit more of hollow cure i know i sort of put that to the side they did that big update with the hollow house and I just, uh, I sort of put that game to the side and more or less forgot about it, but I'd like to revisit that game too, because I do enjoy that game. That that game's fun. And, you know, I've got some other games that I'd like to play in the coming year. Um, as for what they are, I actually don't have any concrete plans, except, of course, Resident Evil 4 Remake. And I know I've said this before, I'd also like to try some other types of non-Let's Play content too, but, uh, you know, I tried doing some of that this year, or at least I had plans to, but then those ideas sort of fell through and I just didn't do it, so... I don't know, I'm just sort of thinking about what else I can do to sort of spice things up. Of course, Let's Plays will be the focus of this channel. So yeah, I don't want to really distract from that too much, but I also want to try some other things too. Try some other things I like because I do like more than just video games. <laughs> so yeah, to recap, you are going to get a video tomorrow on Christmas. There's going to be more videos coming out for this coming week. And then I will be taking New Year's Eve off and the first week of January off and just sort of relaxing, unwinding, decompressing, you know, all that good stuff. Then hopefully I'll come back all refreshed, renewed, and ready to get back at it. But yeah, like I said before, I, I really do appreciate the support you guys have given me because it's been really fun doing Let's Plays. You know, I, I like doing this for you guys and I hope to keep you guys entertained in the future and especially next year. Hopefully I can get to a point where, you know, I, I hit some major channel milestones. Like, you know, I know it's a bit of an unrealistic goal, but if I can make it to a thousand, a thousand subscribers next year, 
that, that would be cool. Do I think it'll happen? I don't want to be too pessimistic about it, but it's it's a bit of a stretch. But I think I think that will be a goal I will at least try to set for myself. But yeah, anyway, your guys' support means a lot to me. It's really helped me out a lot, and you know, it's it's just incredible that you guys have just shown me all the support this year. And I would ask that you continue to support me in this coming year, and I will do my best to earn that support from you guys. So. Yeah, I guess I'll wrap up now. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a Happy Holidays. And I hope you guys have a Happy New Year. And um, here's to 2024. It's only onwards and upwards from here. I hope we all can achieve a bright and happy future. I hope you guys achieve your goals and dreams in 2024. And I will strive to achieve mine. But that's it. I'm JT Gunner. Have a happy holidays, have a merry Christmas, have a happy new year, and uh, see you again in 2024. See you later.